So season three, we just started filming about two weeks ago, um, almost at the end of our first episode. And um, I mean, to be honest with you, as you know, we don't get told that much. But I guarantee that it's not going to be what you expect because the guy, who, you know, our producer and our writer never does what you think he's going to do. So there's going to be, you know, a lot of twists and turns and, and people are going to move in a direction that you don't expect. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, last season was, uh, you had an interesting arc because you had all these Big time. And you, you kind of got into like some of the fighting action. Yeah. So are we going to see more of that? I mean, possibly, yes. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I think, you know, they've said many times, we're going to do whatever it takes to achieve our goals. And, you know, whether that's saving the kids in the pods or whether it's, you know, fighting crime in Freeland, I think they've all made a commitment to do whatever it takes. So it's highly likely that Lynn is going to beat the out of someone again. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's going to do what she... That was so satisfying, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not that I obviously advocate any violence against anyone, especially women, but, but she deserved it. <laughs> um, is, is that character going to be back? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Maybe. You also got to work with the amazing... Bill Duke, legend. So... And he, and he, and he is going to be back. Right. He's a he's an integral part of the of the sort of um, Markovians, green light babies, you know, dynamic story, and also just as a character, he's a great foil for Lynn. You know, they're kind of I I, I could see them becoming like frenemies. Do, do you know what I mean? Because they need yeah. each other, right? Yeah. So I mean, it's a little break, yeah, you know. and, and and you know what? I think I think Lynn's a little bit grey. I mean, I think all the characters on our show, they all actually do have a grey area. Yeah. They all have this kind of sense of, well, sometimes the decisions have not been, you know, not necessarily the best or most... They haven't necessarily always done the thing that had the most integrity, but they've done what they needed to do. So, but they're all... They're not... They're all flawed in their own way, you know? Like when you wrote up the script for the first episode of season three, yeah. what went through your mind? I'm still alive, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> alive to um, the end of the script. Yeah, alive to the end, yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I always get so excited because it, it, it's never what you think it's going to be. And obviously, you've sort of put it down for six months. You know, you've walked away from that character. You know, we we, shot, we started we stopped filming in January, so we've had this six month hiatus. So you you sort of put it all down. You put the character down. You put the story down. You put it away. Then we take it out that new episode, and you kind of go, oh, these characters doing this. It is so exciting, you know, and. Um, I, I think we're going to keep doing what we've done in terms of the social justice component, but we're going to open a lot of doors because now we're bringing in the Markovians. It kind of takes us to these next levels in the comic books. So it's definitely the universe is going to expand quite dramatically. And on an emotional level, are you are you like living and breathing? Like oh, uh, uh, totally. Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And actually, we were talking about this today. You know, one of the things that sort of can be quite challenging about our job is that, especially last season, you know, things got really difficult for Lynn and all the characters. They all went through some stuff. And as an actor, you kind of got to live in that. You've got to kind of go there. So it is actually quite, as, as much as our job is fun, when you're tackling challenging material, you know, you know, Lynn obviously was struggling with her own demons last season and she was really getting a bit too friendly with the wine and, you know, there were some problems in the marriage and you, as an actor, you kind of got to go to go to those places that don't feel that great. So you're kind of excited, but you know it's going to be a challenging six months because you, you're going to have to get your hands dirty to kind of create those moments, you know. Yeah. Which is great. I mean, who doesn't? Every actor wants that. But it's definitely psychologically, you know, you've got to be there. Right. 
Can you switch off as soon as you go home? Yeah. No. No. And I, so you know. I have to like, you know, it's funny, James Remar who plays um, Gamby on the show, you know, I said to him, James, what do you do at the end of these days when you have like a heavy emotional day? So, right, first thing I do is I go home and I have a shower and I wash it, I just wash that day off and that somehow helps me. Is it, you know, I've got kids, so again, it's kind of weird sometimes to go home when you've been doing all this, you know, locked in a closet crying with a shotgun all day, yeah. and then you've got to go home and make some mac and cheese. So I definitely need to figure out how to transition out of the, the, the actress hat to the kind of, you know, but it, it is, it's difficult. I do see why actors, when they're playing a role over a long period of time, you can, you can lose yourself. Because, you know, you, you, have to, you have to go there. Body, your body doesn't realize that the emotions that you're making it feel yeah, are it, not the real thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They think it's the real thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, there was, I, I couldn't tell at the end of the season mm. when they revealed the plot kids in Julio yeah. as still being alive. Yeah. I wonder if they're now going to become like under your charge. You know, like, is is the building character going to kind of present them to you and it's kind of like, okay, now these are a little bit like your kids too. Yeah, I mean, I think right now a lot of different people in the story and in the, in the world are in invested in getting the maximizing those pod kids whatever that means whether they weaponize them right. you know whether they use them for scientific testing whether they use them to develop another vaccine whether they you know they have a lot of potential power you know and, and capacity so I feel like what's going to happen is is that there are going to be multiple factions vying over who gets these kids and Lynn's going to be one of those factions. I think her intention to, you know, to hopefully save them, but you know, there's there's going to be multiple people trying to get this very um, valuable, uh, valuable assets, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. The show has been a lot about family. Yeah. Starting with blood family. Yeah. And then um, the family you make. It's going to look very different. I mean, they're, they're, you know, yes, of course, they're still connected, but it, they're going to inhabit. Each of those family members are going to inhabit very different worlds in this season. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about sort of fantastical worlds. I'm just saying they. I think they're probably going to be fighting their own. Whatever they're doing, they're on, they're basically on their own journeys at this point. So I don't, you know, I'm, you're not going to see a lot of like Pierce family dinners. I don't think in season three, you know, where they have these cute scenes in the kitchen where they're like, you know, making some food. No, no, we're we're going dark. Who will you be interacting with? Who are you most looking forward to interacting with? I mean, I love working with Bill Duke. Um, he's just because he's a legend. He's just a master, and he just so generous with his advice. I, I love watching him. I've learned so much from him. He's just, he's Bill Duke. You know, he's a legend, isn't he? You just, yeah. We just bow down, so I love working with him. Yeah, his style is just very still. And just so much, like, gravitas. Yeah, it's rushing us. Thank you.